revenge. Now he's on guard. Yeah, but that's so lucky. He's left Mother Christmas at home making these pies. Yummy. She's got two million to make for How many? Christmas Day. Two, two million? million. Wow. The last I saw her, she was up to there in flour. Who's <laughs> on the top of her head? So, on Christmas Eve, can you leave out the sauce of milk for Rudolph? And a mince pie for me? Wow. You know, I get very hungry on Christmas Eve. And I'll see you on Christmas Eve with all your presents. But you won't see me. Because you're, you're a lot older now, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. At my other school and when yeah. I was young. Really? Well, you see me a lot then. <laughs> Excellent. You have a lovely Christmas, thank won't you? Thank you, Father Christmas. And thank you for coming out. It's made my night. I was hoping I'd see you too. You, because you haven't been quite so much trouble this year. <laughs> Take care. You have a lovely Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Have a great one. I do, because you were that tall last year. Oh, you were? Do you want your photo taken by the I don't need that, do I? No, can you no. have a photo taken? Of course you can. Christmas? You're not going to quote health and safety to me, are you? <laughs> Alright, done it? <laughs> thank you. You don't want to photograph with me then? No, it's okay, you sure? thanks. Yes, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> are you ready for Christmas? Yeah. No? Alright, no, we're not ready yet. Not yet. Have okay. you been good? Oh, very. Have you? Yeah, absolutely. That's not what I've heard. Oh, okay. I can't say who said it. I it's give it. 27. <laughs> 21 is my brother. No, it doesn't want to know. No, 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 27. It's a dreadful thing. You have a great Christmas, won't you? Thank you. Yes.
The idea came from the members of the Cub troupe themselves. They also claimed that they'd make the cakes as well. We are selling cakes to raise money for the curzon and, um, and it also goes towards our community badge. Hello. Would you like to buy some cake? Happy to have you. You made all these then? You did, did you? Yeah, the cup. The cup. Have you been testing it? Somebody's been testing it. That, no, that wasn't me. Ah. I made the cake. I made the cake. I think I'm going to have to have one of these. Can I have one of these? Bag. Do you want a bag or a... I think they're enough. I'm going to eat it now. Yes. They're 50p. Yeah. Okay. Alright, well done. That's big parties. Fabulous, thank you very much. Right, so if I have some money for that. Would you like to buy some cakes? Oh. And these, and these, are, these are 50. Yeah. These are 20. That's right. Yeah. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, over at the headquarters of the First Cleveland Scouts, sorting of the Scout Christmas post was well underway. Yeah. Yeah, that's I'll have any. Oh, yeah. Uh, David. Yes. It's not on there. No. Because it's. There you go. You need to have a use that one. 36. All right. I've got to go down. Right. Does anybody else need me to get some lunch? Yeah. It's early days yet, but the Scouts reckon that the number of cards being posted through their system has risen since last year. There's still time to post local cards, if you hurry. This year, the residents of the Hawthorns Retirement Property in Elton Road had invited students from the local primary schools to design their official Christmas card. The winning design came from the Yeomore Primary School. Welcome to our presentation this morning. I don't know if you've seen the Christmas card. Uh, I know the residents helped to make the final decision of the winner, um, and this is it once it was produced. It's beautiful, and we want to thank all the entrants. It was a very hard decision um, and very difficult to do, so that's why we handed it over to the residents. But we'd like to make the presentation first to the school um, because the company um, give the winning school a thousand pound. So if you'd like to come forward and take this, and thank you very much thank for you your much. children putting in, and thank, thank you for coming. You. And we know it will go to good use. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then the prize for the winning pupil is an iPad and a case. Um, like I said um, to Alina's parents was, that, that we, we bought a neutral <coughs> colour, but I've given them the receipt, and if you want to change it for a pretty pink or whatever colour you would like, you can. So if you'd just like to come forward, I'd like to give you this and say thank you very much, sweetheart. You did a beautiful job. All the entries were beautiful, like I said, but I think the idea of choosing the peer just <coughs> brought everybody's attention to choose it. So well done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Following the presentation, the pupils of the school gave the Hawthorns residents a short entertainment.
nation. There's a new king born today. God is with us. Round the world the message brings. He is with us. Welcome all the bells on a farm healing. Come and join the celebration. It's a very special day. Come and share our jubilation. There's a new king born today. The festival was the brainchild of Joe Sims and Carolyn Waite, who had the idea to promote Christchurch and its new livery to the town, and for people to see what the new accommodation and facilities were like. During the weekend, the festival, which featured 41 colourfully decorated trees, attracted about 700 visitors. Many schools, clubs and organisations entered the competition and the tree, decorated by Clevedon Pier, was declared the winner. The church raised more than £600, which will be split between the Children's Society and Christchurch's own work with families and children. Clevedon's Food Bank in the Heather Green Industrial Estate is part of the Trussell Trust Food Bank Network, which works in partnership with local churches and other organisations to bring food banks to communities across the UK. There are now over 275 food banks in the network. All the food is donated from people who live in the area. So, for example, we did a supermarket collection last week where we asked shoppers to donate um, one item on our shopping list. So it's really easy to do. You can just buy a tin of baked beans and you can hand it into the food bank and you know that it's going to go and support somebody and help somebody in need. Oh, wonderful. Thank you very much. All of our churches in the town, because we're a Churches Together project, so all the churches have uh, drop-off points and collection boxes. Um, changing lives in Clevedon, they've got a point where you can drop off food too. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much indeed. All the food then comes back to the food bank where it's weighed and dated and systematically put up in our warehouse so that we can issue the food to those in need as and when it arises. So what are you writing on there then? Um, the dates of the best before date so we can check whether they're out of date so we don't give the people that come in anything that's out of date. We have a team of people that make contact with all the frontline agencies such as um, the job centres, citizens advice bureau, family support teams um, and we issue them with vouchers so they come in on a day-to-day -day basis they come into contact with anybody that may be in need and they're supporting them throughout their day-to-day life, day life anyway and um, so they are really best placed to sort of identify those that would need support for, from, for food and so they issue the vouchers which can then be exchanged at the Cleveland Food Bank for three day supply of emergency food. Hello, nice to see you. Come on through and we'll get you a cup of tea. After a welcome from Catriona, the customer is invited in for a friendly chat about their other needs or just to sympathise with them okay. about the difficulties they're going through. 
Yeah. We'll both do it. Do you want to do up to biscuits? Yeah. Meanwhile, next door in the storeroom, Sandy and Hannah are busy making up the three-day orders from the stacks of donated food on the shelves. They make up the order to a detailed list of tinned and dried foods. Fresh food is not included as it would be impossible for the food bank to store it. You can pick it out of each, se each section for a person. So say someone is single, they come in, they get so many cans of beans, so many cans of soup, can of rice pudding, packet of biscuits, bag of sugar. So they get a set selection of food, which is meant to be a balanced parcel. It weighs about nine kilos, a single person's parcel for three days. Cleveland Food Bank gives three days emergency food to anybody in a crisis situation. And that could be due to benefit delays, um, it could be due to redundancy, it could be for a marriage or relationship breakdown, um, any, anything really that life throws uh, at, you know, your way. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much indeed. Since it opened back in May, the Cleveland Food Bank has supplied over 300 people with their basic needs. The aim of Project Zulu is to bring this choir and dancers from Stabellum Tattoo Primary School in KwaZulu-Natal, South Africa, to the UK for a three-week concert tour during next summer. It is hoped that the tour will raise funds to provide much needed electricity with the installation of solar panels on the roof of the school. As part of their fundraising activities, 10 of the students from the University of the West of England, who are the main sponsors of the project, undertook a dip in the Clevedon Sea, unsuitably dressed as safari animals. <laughs> During the summer, this group of students, led by lecturer Ben Knight, took a trip to South Africa, where they spent five weeks teaching in schools in KwaZulu-Natal and exploring the country. One said, it's been a real eye-opener and I've gained a different perspective on education around the world. The dip is an exciting way to show support and get everyone involved in the project. hope that as a byproduct of this project, the children of Stabellum Turto will strengthen their connection to their Zulu heritage, since the songs and dances they perform are losing popularity among young Zulus in South Africa. <laughs> 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 Zulu 
the school's three-week UK tour is due to start in Bristol at the Bristol Cathedral Choir School on the 18th of May. More details can be found on this website. Located at the back of the community centre building in Prince's Road, the Springboard Opportunity Group occupy a self-contained, purpose-built unit, staffed by over 40 part-time and voluntary carers. The Springboard is a registered charity. It was established um, by a group of local parents back in 1986 and has really grown from strength to strength since then. And we provide services to children, preschool children, with additional needs across the whole of North Somerset. Here in Clevedon, which is our main base, we have um, a large playroom area. Um, we run play sessions um, every day during the term time week, morning and afternoon, for preschool children with additional needs. And the aim of those sessions is to enable the children to access further education and all areas of the early years curriculum. Um, we have over 30 children a week um, attend those sessions, so there's a, there's a lot of work um, to do. Okay, will you sit on the horse? I think he might. Is he going to go gallop along? Yeah. No. We um, run weekly stay and play sessions, um, which is uh, which are open to to parents. Uh, it's often a nice way in for parents who who may want to just find out what we're doing and come along and find out for us to get to know them and work out if we've got anything that we can offer them. We also run training for um, parents and for others working with, with the children um, you know, to, to develop their, their skills. Um, I mentioned the large number of staff we have. We also have over 30 volunteers um, that, that work with us in the playroom and elsewhere. Stick in the muck up. Yes, there's lots of muck, isn't there? We have a League of Friends, which does an amazing amount of fundraising for us and promoting the work that we do. So we feel that we're very much part of, of the local Cleveland community, um, as well as meeting the needs of, uh, of that, that particular group of, of children and families that, that, that we do work with. We have a variety of sources of funding. Um, North Somerset Council and the Primary Care Trust um, uh, fund us. We have a contract with them to provide services across North Somerset. We also uh, get funding from, for example, the lottery, from grant funders. Um, a lot of, one of my main responsibilities now is to actually do the fundraising applications um, so that we can, you know, keep things going because what we get it through our contract doesn't cover the, the full costs and all the extra bits that, 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 are, that are needed here. And as I said before, the Friends, League of Friends, Friends of Springboard, um, do a lot of fundraising. There was a ball recently which um, raised £3,500, for instance. So they make a significant income, uh, you know, uh, contribution to, to our income. But we welcome any sorts of donations. We have a lot of people do um, uh, marathons for us, sponsored runs. They help run fates and things for us. So every little helps, you know, so. so. <laughs> 